absolutely sensational dance. The power surge is on. 88% checkout, 105 average, and he needs four more legs to be crowned the European champion. A virtuoso performance from Philip Douglas Taylor. He leads 7-3. Seven legs to three, Taylor leads Lewis in the European Championship final. First to 11 by two, remember, a change in the commentary box. Alan Warner Little joins John Rawling. And it looks very much now as though Phil Taylor is closing in on this title. First name on a new title, it's something that he so often wants to achieve and it's looking as though he's going to achieve it once again unless Lewis can somehow find the form that swept him past Raymond van Barneveld earlier in the tournament. But to, to date, it's not looked quite that way. Taylor has looked the boss. He got a good start, Sadie Lewis, but once Taylor found his range, got into his rhythm, there's only been one man really who's looked like a potential winner. Well, certainly true. What Lewis has to do now is just make sure he can win his throw and then maybe produce two or three of those 12, 11 dart legs, which he did against Barneveld. By far his best performance on TV. But he needs to reproduce that and now. In this tournament, Phil Taylor's averaged 108.76. That's terrific from Lewis. Very much a momentum, more like it, eh? Very much a momentum throw, isn't he? And sometimes when he does get a good lie, he seems to rush it. Bit of a rush of blood. You can't blame him for that. He's got a potential checkout, Adrian Lewis. He could do with this one to stay in touch in this match. Can't do it now but he can bang in the big scores, which he duly does, and leaving himself an opportunity to check out at the next visit. Yeah, with Taylor not on a finish, he knows he's coming back to the board for 14 tops, probably. So Taylor looking to put more pressure on, but he won't do with that dart. So Adrian Lewis moving in on 54. He needs double top now. There it is, 7-4. Ideal way to resume after the break. Eddie Lewis, who's already booked his place in the Grand Slam, he's won himself a minimum of 25,000 quid. He'd still like the big prize, 50 grand. Well, that was the first leg after the break. And if he wins his throw in all three of those and breaks in one, with darts like those, he's going to find it difficult. That's a fourth 180 from Taylor. What a repost. We're talking about averages, we've had over 900 plus averages in this tournament. I don't know what the record is, but I'm sure that's pretty close. The standard throughout has been terrific. It's been an enthralling tournament, this one. It certainly has. When you look back at the tournament, Barney's second round against Priestley, Thornton against Taylor, as we saw earlier today. The Tabern class and clashed. That was fantastic. Wow. Another 180 for Lewis. As the uh, roar from our referee tells us, that's his second of the match. Yeah. Russ gravels out that score, shouts it to the crowd. Taylor looking to leave it handy. Wow. Good last dart. <laughs> Lovely cover dart. Good effort on the ball from Lewis. Now Taylor, 48 for this leg. 16 he has, double 16 would give it him. And he's not missing them today, is he? It's not only in the double, it's in the middle of the double. That's right. 89% checkout statistics for Taylor, 8 out of 9. And that is quality finishing from Phil Taylor. Adrian Lewis, 4 out of 8, 50%, nothing wrong with that. And 101 average, but Taylor on 106 and marching towards 
the European Darts Championship trophy. I'm sure some armchair fans sometimes <laughs> say, find it a little bit wearing when people wax lyrical about Phil Taylor, but it is an extraordinary success story, his dominance. And Lewis is not throwing badly by any means. He's averaging around about 100. But look at that score. 8-4, 11 required for the title. Yeah, not just his dominance, but over such a long period, 18 years, 13 world titles, wow. and numerous other TV and proto events. And he even seems, dare I say it, at the age of 48, to be better than he's ever been. I don't disagree with that. What he's doing now is he's raising the bar. All these youngsters have come along and challenged him. He's shown them who the governor is. Moving within touching distance. He's got a check out on his next visit. It must be like hitting Mike Tyson with a toilet roll. Something I would not recommend, I have to tell you, wasn't. 161. This would equal the best check out of the week. Treble 20. No, he can't do it. You can see the disappointment on those familiar features. Yeah. 58. Like you say, he wants to win the title. Lewis needs this one, Alan. Yeah. Well, big 20 for top of the shop. I'll have to move over. It's blocking. Well, the block stopped him hitting the double top sweep. So Taylor moving in on 103. He's starting down the bottom of the board. It's a single 19. That leaves 84. Treble 20 leaves double 12. No. Lewis breathes again. Well, chance now for Lewis. Deep breath. Well, it's a bad dance. Snatched that really badly. Can he make amends? Well, double seven. A rush of blood from Lewis. This is a big leg for him to pull another leg back. 13. Well, that's a big miss, I think. And uh, you could see what tension was doing to one of the most naturally gifted throwers in the game. Now, Lu now Taylor has an opportunity. And there it is. That was a big miss from A.D. Lewis. 9-4 now. And Taylor moving on. He knows that he got away with it a little bit there. Well, only two legs away. If Lewis had a peg that double, 8-5. Would have been game back on. The three darts at the double from Lewis. Well, they're a long way from the target, John. A long way, yeah. One it's uh, it's tension, I'm sure. He knows now that he has got to just put leg after leg together and throw near perfect darts if he's going to salvage this. And that tension and that need to do that has probably probably defeated him now. And it looks as though Taylor is coasting home. Whichever sport you play, when you're behind, always difficult. One Shows true signs of championship form and true grit if you can come back. We've seen some comebacks this week already, John. Well, this would be one of the best of the lot if he were to be able to win this one from here. It would be an astonishing comeback. Rapt attention from the sellout crowd here in Frankfurt for this final of the inaugural One European hundred. Darts Championship. And Phil Taylor on 162, no shot out when he comes back to the board. Well, Lewis will have to go for the treble 20, otherwise he can't leave the finish. Taylor 162. Just trying to post himself a comfortable finish for his next visit. Lewis, of course, can't check out. 60. Well, that's a loose one. Well, he might only have one dart of the double if he does hit the treble. So if Lewis can set up a good finish here, he'll have to go for the ball. And he's missed the ball. He just seems to lock 